This is a video I've wanted to film for like a really long time and it is something I've spoke about a lot on my YouTube but I've never made a specific video for and I've always meant to but I just never got around to it. So for today's video basically I'm going to discuss doing a placement year in your university degree which is also sometimes known as a sandwich year. So a placement year or a sandwich year is usually an optional year between your second and third year where you actually go out and work in industry for a year. So before I break it down a bit more. Um, for context, I studied uh, computer science at Plymouth University. My placement year, which was between my second and final year, was at an engineering company and I was a software engineer. It's now been two years since I graduated almost, which is absolutely terrifying. <laughs> Once I finished university, I actually went back to the company I did my placement year with and I then joined their graduate scheme. Obviously, everything I'm going to talk about is pretty much based on my own experience and the experience of kind of the people around me like on my course or like my other friends that have done placement years. I have raved about doing a placement year so much and I cannot speak negatively about it whatsoever. There are so many positive things that can come out of doing a placement year. Of course first and foremost it's um, the experience. You get a whole year experience before you've even graduated. It actually gave me the opportunity to know if the job was right for me. Um, so with computer science there's quite a few different things you could do. found once I got into about second year I was kind of steering more towards the software side. Um, but by doing placement year, it was like a trial period. I got to like make sure that job was right for me. One thing that I know a lot of people might be interested in is that most, I think most placement years do actually pay and they pay like reasonably well, like probably more than what you're getting on a student loan. Um, so I guess if you've spent your first and second year kind of getting into a lot of debt, um, your placement year could be an opportunity to actually get over that and put yourself in a better place for when you go back to final year. All my skills just improved massively from doing a placement year. My knowledge of software and how it works and all that improved massively. My confidence improved massively. I felt like I could actually do a job in the real world. I also felt doing a placement year helped massively with going back to university. One big aspect of my final year is the final year project. So that's basically where you have to take a software project from start to end. If I didn't do that placement year, I wouldn't have known where to start. With um, final year as well, I felt I was a lot more motivated because I kind of knew a job that I wanted to do now. I was kind of motivated to kind of get my degree done. I had like better time organisation, obviously from going to work nine to five every day. Um, I was much better at getting myself into a routine and actually sticking to doing my work. I didn't depend on others as much, I feel. I found tackling new problems um, in my final year just a lot easier. So obviously it gains you a lot of experience. I developed massively as a person. Obviously the most important thing about doing a placement year is that it will massively help with getting you a job after university. The place that I worked um, on my placement year actually offered me a job back on their graduate scheme and they offered that to me pretty early on so that meant I didn't have to stress about trying to find a job in final year. Aside from that there can also be other perks with that um, so I was actually sponsored by the company through my final year. As you can guess I think there's so many perks to do in a placement year. I think I could honestly talk for England on the subject um, because I had such a positive experience myself. There probably are some cons. Some things that you might want to consider is that um, Trying to find a placement year for a start um, is quite stressful. It might actually impact your second year. Um, I was quite lucky in the sense that I got mine secured quite early. I think it was like January, February or something. Um, but when you've got loads and loads of deadlines, the last thing you want to think about is trying to find a placement year. <laughs> Obviously I don't, I can't speak for all subjects, but I found the application process very odd. It was different for pretty much every company. Um, I feel like there was no like standard. Like some companies um, pretty much just standard phone interview and then a face to face interview maybe. Some did whole like test centre days um, and others like they expected me to do like a week long project and send it to them and I was just like I do not have the time for that. I know some people did actually really struggle to find a placement year um, in the end they didn't find them until very last minute um, so that can be quite stressful. You may also struggle to find a placement year either like near your home or near your university so it might mean moving to a completely different city again. Again, this could be a pro really, um, but also it's just a lot of moving about, I guess. The one con I actually found is even though when I went back to final year, I did feel more motivated to get my work done and to get my degree. There was also some demotivating parts about it um, and I found it very hard to go back after being away for a year. 
that I really did not want to go back. Um, of course, I wanted to get my degree done, but I enjoyed my placement here so much, I didn't really want to leave. And knowing that I could do the job of a software engineer, I was like, what is the point of me going back to do my degree and finish my degree when I can already do the job to an okay standard? So yeah, that was kind of demotivating, I guess. Um, and also on the academic side, it can be a bit of a struggle, I found, um, because obviously it's almost like taking a gap year, really. Um, you haven't written any essays for a year. You haven't done any exams for a year. So just those kind of things, like you might be a little bit out of practice, might be a bit more difficult to get back into. That's the only real negatives that I could see out of it. So if I was to give people advice um, who were like looking for placement years or about to start a placement year or are considering doing a placement year, I'd say get applying as soon as you can. And I'd just say prepare yourself um, when you're in like your first year, for example, start building up your CV. I know I hadn't even written a CV before because um, I'd never had a job before. Um, so I spent a lot of first year trying to build up my CV, taking on more volunteering work and just having stuff that I could talk about. Make sure you've got the right skills for whatever ones you're applying for, but also make sure even though you're not going to know fully whether you're going to enjoy it until you get there, just make sure that it seems like something you would be interested in because obviously it's going to be a long year if you don't actually end up enjoying it. I guess just don't stress about it too much because at the end of the day, yeah, it is an incredible experience to do a placement year, but it's not the end of the world if you don't get one. You'll still get the same degree, so you can just go straight into final year and just finish your degree earlier and try and get some experience alongside your final year. So when it comes to actually doing your placement year, um, I definitely say make sure you make the most of it. Do anything you can to make your experience any better. Um, don't be afraid to ask questions. I found the people that I worked with while I was on my placement year were so understanding that I was obviously still an undergrad and didn't know a lot of stuff. Uh, and they were just really helpful in helping me build up my skills and answering any questions I had. So yeah, just don't be afraid to put yourself out there. And then I'd also say um, when it gets towards the end of your placement year, just make sure that you keep in contact with um, the company if you've had a good experience, because it is always good to have contacts. There might be a high chance they'll offer you a graduate job and you never know when you might actually need them. So I think that kind of summarises everything I'd want to say about a placement year. I hope this video has been slightly helpful. If you have any questions or want any advice on the whole process, um, leave comments down below I'll make sure I answer anything that I can and yeah I hope you've liked this video hopefully I shall speak to you soon bye